All right, people, back in the workshop, and the missus said to me last night, what are you doing in the garage? So I'm starting to build a chassis, because uh, the chassis put a deposit on one. Right, are you videoing it? No. She goes, well, why don't you do some little videos? So, here I am. I'm going to show you what I'm starting on. You ready? Right, so, this is the start of the floor. So I thought I'd explain a little bit on how to get your floor set up. Your floor is the most, well, one of the most important things because everything works off your floor. So if your floor is out of square, if it's twisted, if it's not right, the end product's going to be out of square. If it's twisted, it's not going to be right. <clears throat> so you're going to need a few things. You're going to need your material. Now, my floor... The outer edge is one inch by one inch, 25 by 25, one inch by one inch. That's 25 by 50 mil, three mil wall. So three mil wall, three mil wall, it's all three mil. This is gonna be a two seater. That's why I've got twin spines. Uh, my single seater only runs a single spine of 25 by 25, because it's got big brace going across, seats more in the middle. I like to run two. Bigger sections for two seats, basically. So always just three more wall. Now you've got to get it square. So you're going to need a flat table. And when I am putting it together, I've got four of these. Which are perfect 90 degrees, which gives you your, your 90s. So I'll drop one of those in each corner. This chassis, he wanted 45 cuts, not square cuts and I must admit the 45 you've got a longer weld you can get some nice penetration so your joints you've got to well prep everything when you're building a shirt space frame or cage really, well prep is very important so you've got to clean all your material back right and then if you look in there it's chamfered all the way around now I say this is a three mil wall Ideally, you want a three millimeter chamfer. So you're not taking all of the material. Let me get a bit of scrap and I'll show you. Right, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you. So I will lick the grinder down this side, cross the back, cross the back, cross the back, at a 45 degree angle. Yeah, and I will leave a small bit of material. I'll leave a bit of material there. Right, so there'll be a bit of material left there, and then it will chamfer. 45 all the way around. And that is, so you get a gap. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Yeah, and your weld is gonna fill this, and it's gonna penetrate more into the steel. If that was just two pieces of steel put together, you'll, probably, you'll find out your weld just sits on the top. So all of this is gonna be fill, filled with weld. Every joint has to be well prepped. So you get a maximum weld in there, yeah? And then you want to make sure she's square. Oh, still zoomed in. So, squareness, you are going to get your two measures, or your rulers and your squares, and this dimension, the way I do it, is I use a square, tube the three more wall has got a bigger radius the one more wall hasn't got a bigger radius and then i measure to there so if you look at my measurements it's 1290 mil and a half yeah and you'll come to the back i can't quite get right the way to the back so i've got to really put it there One thousand nine hundred, what? One thousand two hundred ninety and a half. Okay, and then you'll do the same going down, and then you'll drop that on there. So we'll be first. You get your square, put it on your corner, and I always measure to that corner. Yeah. So take measure. 
Some diagonals. Across. Another about. So we're at 1,878. Yeah. And you come over this side. You've got to flip your square. So it's still in the same orientation. And this is just giving you a bit of a tip into my measurements, which I know are about right for a minute. And then on this one, same, 78. So, well, 74 inches if you want to do it that way. 74 inches across. And then you've got your measurements from there. That, really, that can go anywhere. That. I just have it, so these three inch centre lines, the exhaust tunnel, just go over. So when you come to bend your steel for the inside of your exhaust tunnel, it's just a nice, simple curve. Yeah? My measurement there, from the inside of your 50 mil, is what? 590. And this square is, by the way, because you're going to have to minus this off if you want to use it. It's 15 mil. Yeah? Then we'll go around the other side, and you'll find out 590. So, yeah, it's all about your measurements, your square. This has to be square. So you can get yourself a big square in, in any corner. You are square. Right, so that's the way I do my floor. A lot of other people do them different ways, but that's what it is, you know? And then I take these, just 45, three more wall. These are got a slight well prep on. And these go in there. Now the perfect fit. You know, all these don't need such a big well prep because you've got the radius to fill. Yeah? You can look at the gap. So this. That's going to get fully welded, and this fully get welded onto there. Because this is 45, 2.65 wall. It gives it something to sit on. Yeah? And it's going to be welded to all three pieces of material. This will also be well prepped all the way around. So, yeah. That's just a quick video on my floor, basically. I thought I'd just pass that on. And what you'll do is you'll, when you come to weld it though, what I do is I weld the inside. Frap, frap. Weld the inside and the outside. Don't do the top. Because what you want to do is you want to get it to its welded square, flip it over, weld the other side fully. So you'll weld the inside of this. Yeah, and then you'll tack that on, and then you'll weld that and that. And you'll flip it over, fully weld the bottom, then you've got to linish it down flat, put it back on the table, clamp it back down, then you weld the top. Because otherwise, I don't clean the welds as much on the top as I do underneath, because I've got to do them underneath, because when you're putting the flat floor in, you don't need to ripple over the welds. So you've got to make sure you're getting that penetration in the weld. The weld's got to sink into the steel. Because if you just weld on the top, when you come to linish it off, there's going to be nothing left. Right, so that's the first quick video. And I'll, I'll try and remember to carry on doing it for you. Right then, thanks for watching.